Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make these zoom ins and zoom out along with the shake. And you have been asking me on my Discord server and also on my YT that I'm not posting regularly nowadays. That's because like I was sick and also I had exams. So that's basically the reason why I was not posting. So right now I'm kind of better. I'm all right. So don't worry, guys, I'll be posting regularly from now on, like not regularly, but like four or five edits or maybe tutorials per week so stay tuned for that and right now let's just straight get into the tutorial all right guys so open your cap cut and then adjust your background according to your need and before we start the tutorial i just wanted you guys to know like a lot of you guys have been asking me that how is my interface like that like i was doing vc and like i have shown some screenshots on my discord server of like my cap cut and you guys wanted to know how is my interface like that so all you need to do is go to this menu then go to layout and then if you click on vertical you will get this one and then you can just adjust it according to your need i usually just move it up and then do this and i get this type of interface so that's basically how i do it now let's move on to the tutorial okay so guys next as we usually do just remove the background from the animation just go to chroma key and then just select the green color and then just adjust its intensity and then just remove the background then what you need to do next is go to adjustment then go to the saturation and then change it to minus 50 this will change that green color to gray so that will just look much better and then now what you need to do next is like we'll start giving it the keyframes so for that what you need to do is add a keyframe at the starting a scale keyframe then go to the next beat add one keyframe there and then go one frame to the left and then add another keyframe there now you have to go like 10 keyframes or a little bit more to the left and then add a keyframe there too now here you have to zoom in so like we are giving it a zoom in in the starting then a zoom out now next on the next beat where you put the keyframe just zoom in a lot on the character like this then go to the next beat and add a keyframe there then go one frame to the left add a keyframe there again then go like again 10 keyframes to the left or a little bit more to the left and then give a keyframe there and then just zoom out now next you have to do the same for the next two beats too so just do that real quick and then we'll start giving it the graphs all right guys now for the graphs you need to follow my steps you have to do exactly like me so make sure to do them properly so just open the keyframe animation then give the graph to the first keyframe and now what you need to do is drag this blue line as close as possible and then move it a little bit up just like me then give the graph line to the second keyframe now what you need to do is go to the next keyframe i mean the third one then go three frames to the left and then make sure that this blue line ends there then go at the starting now go eight frames forward then make sure that the blue line from the starting ends there and make it straight just like this like make sure it does not go much above the keyframe nor does it should go a bit down so like make sure it's like straight like this then for the next graphs you need to do the same just give it the graph line now it's a zoom out so just move it down then give graph line to the second keyframe then again do the same method like make sure it's three frames to the left from the ending and then from the starting it should be like eight frames forward and then you have to make it like straight just like me just follow my steps there like try to do exactly what i'm trying to do here i can't really explain it much because like english is not my main language just bear it now and yeah just do the same for the other two graphs and we'll be done with the graphs now now next we'll just compound clip all of this and then you have to export this if you have done the compositing if you want to do the compositing just do that and then you have to export this otherwise just compound clip all of this and then we'll start giving it the zoom in and zoom out again all right guys for this zoom in and zoom out so you have to do the same keyframing just add a scale keyframe at the starting one at the next beat then go one frame to the left add one keyframe there then go 10 frames to the left again then add one keyframe there and now we added a zoom in here so make sure to give it a zoom in like this then go to the next beat and then you have to zoom in there because we'll give it a zoom out next so zoom in there then go to the next beat add one keyframe there then go one frame to the left add one keyframe there 
then go 10 frames to the left again and then just zoom out there so this will just add a zoom out so first we did a zoom in then a zoom out just like we did before with the green screen you have to do the same with this and then just do the same for the next two beats again and now we'll give it the graphs and you have to do the exact same graphs but instead of going eight frames forward you have to go nine frames forward now to make it more smooth and make sure that you must do the same graphs as me because if you don't do the same graphs you will never get these zoom ins so i'll explain the graphs one more time just open the keyframe animation then give graph line to the first keyframe then go one frame forward and then move it a bit up just like this then give graph line to the second keyframe, then go to the next keyframe, I mean the third one, then go three frames to the left, and then you have to make this blue line end there, then go at the starting, then go nine frames forward, and then you have to make sure that this blue line goes straight and ends there. So that's just basically it. That's how you will do all of these graphs. So just do that real quick. I'll, I'm just going to fast forward all of that. And then after that, we're going to add some effects to give it some like wide angle and then we'll just give it a uh, shake in the hand okay so guys next what you need to do is add an effect called wide angle above it then you need to add some keyframes first of all make it strength 100 at the starting then give it a keyframe there then go to the next keyframe on the clip then click on the effect and make the strength back to zero then go to the next beat and then make it back to 100 just like me then you have to go to the next keyframe on the clip and then make it back to zero again. And then at the next beat, make it back to 100. Now just split it there and uh, don't copy paste it here. I am done. I accidentally did it. Just ignore it, please. Next, what you need to do is now just give it some graphs. Just do exactly what I'm trying to do here. Give it the graph line, move it down, then give the graph line to the second keyframe and then move it a little bit straight, just like this. Try to make it like it should not be much intense, not much nor too less. So just do that. And then after that, you need to just copy paste it just like this. And then at the ending, what you need to do is where it's zooming in, you have to cut it there okay so like make sure it does not doubles there okay so guys now talking about the shake as you guys already know i make shake with some random keyframes so here i cannot teach you the exact same shake but i'll show you how i did it so basically i made a preset of the shake i'm just gonna copy paste the keyframes on the clip and then i'm just gonna show you the values and the graphs that i did here to make this shake and before you start giving it the shake, what you need to do is enable canvas and then give it blur, then select the first one. Now for the shake, as you can see, I'll show you the values. First, I added an X and Y keyframe at the starting and then you can see the values. Then I went a little bit forward and then only added an X keyframe there. Then change the value of X to this. Then I went a little bit more forward and then added a Y keyframe there and then moved it down just like this, as you can see. You can see the graphs here too so you have to do these same graphs as me to make the exact same shake and you can like make your own shake too if you want you can just move the keyframes up and down just like this give it some more value give it some more shake and then just try to like do exactly like me that go a little bit forward and give some keyframe then go a little bit more forward now more than before and then give keyframe then give it some different value and then you can just give it the graph line and make sure to give them graphs just like me because that will make it more smooth and after you're done with the shake what you need to do is just copy paste it on the other beats and then you'll be done now the final thing that you need to do in this tutorial is that export this clip now and then import it back in your timeline now you can give it motion blur just keep the value at 100 and don't change the value of blend it will be good so that's it for today guys and the next tutorial will be about the compositing and I'm trying some new stuff too. So stay tuned. See you guys in another video. Till then. Bye bye.